Today we're going to talk about the uh, farm management system from Sweer Birkin. So uh, this time we're actually using, uh, this is the uh, newest one, the latest one we bought. This is a, a motor mounted uh, version. The hydraulic version is going to be installed in the next few weeks. So uh, make sure you look out for that when that comes out. It'll be uh, uh, three or four weeks and we'll, uh, we should have that installed. Um, just doing some final checkovers with the tractor and stuff like that. Really excited for that, but we're going to talk about farm management system today. Farm management system comes with the advanced mode, so you have to buy this kit with the advanced mode. It's an activation code that you simply put into the uh, into the terminal there, and it unlocks certain features. And one of the features is called farm management system, and it's a way of just. Um, adding fields to your terminal without having to drive around them, marking boundaries and stuff like that. So what we can do is from uh, from home, we can sit on our laptop, uh, we can mark the field boundaries and then we can upload them to the screen. I will show you how to do that in this video. First thing you always need to do is you need to bind the screens together. So from your laptop at home, you would uh, add a new uh, terminal once you've logged in. And then you would simply come down to the universal tool here so we go down to universal we're going to add to farm management we're already connected but you would click add there and uh, your laptop would have gave given you a um, you have to take the serial number from the back of the screen put that into the uh, into your laptop and then your laptop will give you a, uh, a, um, a six digit number that you put into the screen and then that binds them together then and then what we simply do, I've already added a load of uh, fields uh, back home. From there you can add you can add your guidance lines, you can add your AB lines in field. Uh, there's lots of little things you can do on there. So basically we can link all these three systems together. Once we've got the other one installed, we can have all three systems. They've all got the same information on them, the same field information. And yeah, it's just an easy way to keep everything linked and uh, up together and you haven't got three separate ones and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's just a nice easy thing to do. You get a year's free subscription and then uh, from then after you have to pay for it. So that's how it works. Now, what we are going to have to do, because this one hasn't got a data link at the moment, we're just going to connect that to our, we're just going to link, simply link it to our phone, but simply connect it to your phone's Wi-Fi. That gives you a data link then, so you can receive data. Um, the other one has got its own uh, SIM card in it, so it's got its own data link there. So, and then all we simply do, we're in our fields, and we simply press at this little icon here. Now, I will, uh, I'll cut to my laptop now, and show you adding the fields, and then we'll come back to this, and then, and then you can follow on from here. So this is the farm management website. This is what you presented with first. Because we're here in the UK, this is the website we want to use. So uh, just take note of this. If you're in the UK, this is the website you use to get to the European uh, server. This is important. If you go to the wrong one, you won't be able to log in. But this uh, here is your account name and your password for the Spherevirken monitor. So it's the same. it's the same password and account name. I will just quickly log in but if you're on the wrong website you will not be able to get in so make sure you're on the uh, correct address which is up here take note of that that brings us up to our dashboard from here you've got several tabs all the way across the uh, top of the screen here yeah you can uh, there's lots of things you can add here you can add your clients um, you know if you're only one farm you could add your farm in there if you've got if you're working multiple farms you can add different farms uh, you can add your fields in there and then you can add your guidance lines in there as well. I've already done a, a few fields here as you can see but basically what I'm going to show you is how to add a field and you can also add a, a guidance line in here as well and then I'll show you how to sync it to your terminal but a few things you can see here this is our farm at the moment um, we've got two navigation kits soon to be three so you can see one of the tractors is out at the moment in the yard and the other one's in the shed there but uh, that tells you where your tractors are at all times you can see you can get live access to your tractors in the field so if this tractor was in work and it was uh, it was in the field we could see how fast he was going you know uh, certain things where he was in the field you know uh, we don't really use that here on our farm 
but uh, what we do, what is useful to us is the um, the field creation tool. So I'll just show you how that happens. Go back to the dashboard and you can select any field, it doesn't matter. You know, wherever you are in the UK, you can select your fields, you can put farms in, you can put clients in, uh, you can add fields, then you can add um, all your guidance lines in there as well. Uh, what else can you do? You can go back to previous recorded tasks. I'll just show you this quick. Uh, so we can go to the last task here. Uh, this one here, where, where we were out on the drill, I believe, and it will literally show you exactly how you uh, drilled the field. Look. So, uh, you know, um, yeah, just record your uh, what you did that day. So, for now, we're going to uh, add a field and then we're going to upload it to our terminal. So, let's choose this field here because this is one of our fields. So, we will go to farm uh, fields. We're going to add a new field. These are some of the fields I've added already. We add a new field. Let's go. That will take us close by. There's our farm. And the field we want to add is this one here. So we're going to go full screen. That just makes things a bit easier for us. Then we're going to draw. And what we do is we simply, and you can draw this out exact to your field sizes if you want, and then put an internal boundary if you want to do that, or you can draw it out, you know, as you would maybe work the field. So we've got heading around our field. I'll just do this very quickly, and you just simply mark out the boundary. We've got a uh, a margin around this field, so I'll just quickly show you. And you can do this as accurate or as you know basic as you want, and it will give you an, a total area. And yeah, it just saves you driving around the field, or if you wanted to just know an area of the field or an area of a, of a space, it's good for that as well. And we just simply the more dots you put in there, the more accurate it will be. And then simply click on the last button. Right, if you want to move that, we can move that. We can do whatever you want with that. Then we can call that, let's, uh, let's call that, what's that, that's a field, so let's call it that's called Pans Hill, that one. And that is with us at Four Winds. And here you go, it shows you your acreage. So that's 6.86 acres, that's the workable field. If you wanted to put the total field in there, you could. Let's click off that so we don't keep grabbing it. And uh, yeah, like this one here, I've put the total area of, of the field on this one. As you can see, this one's called Barley Ground. So now we want to click OK. There's our field there. So we click him, we synchronize it. That's going to end up at our terminal. Uh, what else can we do? We can uh, also, while we're there, we'll uh, add a guidance line to that. And we'll add one. And we will put an AB line in. It is on our farm. The field is Pans Hill. We're going to call it the drill line. Doesn't matter what you call it, you can call it whatever you like, but for just this purpose, we'll just call it that. Um, and we simply add a line. We can make this full screen if we want. We usually take our straight edge off here. We come to about there, that's our straight edge. That's usually where we would uh, take a straight line from on this field. And simple as that. Then uh, that's going to automatically sync. There we go. Just to make sure, I'm just going to double check. Yep, already done. So when we go to the terminal, it should, uh, it should already be, uh, when we uh, sync up, 
it will put that field in there, put that uh, AB line in there, and basically you can, um, yeah, you can go around your entire farm. There we go. There's our new field, and you can uh, see how big it is. Yeah, this one's obviously a bit bigger. Look, 32, 35 acres. That one. And there's another one there, 16 acres. This one here is ours as well. And you just do the same. You just keep adding fields and then sync them up to your terminal. Uh, what else can we do here? You can add new tasks if you want to do that. You can, yeah, it's just um, it's just an easier way to add fields onto your uh, terminal without having to actually drive around them. So there it is. So we've got a few more to add there whenever we uh, get time. But uh, we'll head over to the terminal. I'll show you how to sync that up. Uh, when you first start with your screen, you will come to equipment, steering kits, and you would bind your new kit um, to your screen. And to do that, so you need your serial number of your kit, that's on the back of your screen. Uh, device name is the, um, you know, what tractor you've got it on or something like that. And the IoT number is nothing. You press, uh, once you put those details in, it will give you a number to put into the terminal. So you put that number into the terminal, then click bind, and then they got them together. As you can see, we've got one on a 6480, one on a 7716. We're soon to have a new one on there as well, so we'll have to do that at some point. But yeah, it's really nice, you know. And then you can come back here. You can see uh, if, let's say for example, Andrew was at home and we were all out working on our steering kits he could click on the button here see where they were all working they might be in this field they might be they might be down here and he'd be able to see them going up and down the fields that's a little bit on the terminal there's lots of other things here you can put prescriptions in we don't use them here at our farm so i don't really know how these work but these are your prescriptions for variable rate so you could um, upload these prescriptions and then it goes to the terminal and then that then goes to the seed drill and then adjust the seed drill for more or less seed across the field so uh, that's how it works but i haven't we don't you know we don't use that here at our farm so I don't really know how exactly that works but uh, it's all there you can do it here um, it's also got different sort of things 3d land leveling uh, that's a different um, that's a different machine altogether you know a different kit altogether for uh, land leveling um, but yeah it can be as complicated or as simple as you like we we like to keep it simple I can put my fields in there I can name them and then I can upload it all to the uh, all to the terminal so we'll head out up to the tractor and I'll show you how we uh, sync that all up but it's pretty nice and simple um, yeah I hope that shows that okay for you right so we've added a field on the laptop and you can uh, you can see you can add multiple fields you can add multiple farms clients on there um, you know all the information you want to put on there you can put on there it shows you your field sizes it shows you yeah it shows you everything you want to know so the next thing you do then you come to the field tab let's go back out so you can see so we'll go to the uh, menu button there come to the field press the field button and then we simply sync up and now it's going to download all the data that we put on the laptop there we go that was our last one Panzer was our last one we put on there that will have our boundary which is there Oop, click that there's our boundary and then uh, we will select that we want that boundary we'll select our guidance line there's our drill line on that boundary we select that and then if we want to put a task in there we can put a task but uh, if you don't want to do that we don't have to so there we go that gives us if we drove over to that field now it's a little bit far away but if we drove over there our uh, our uh, field would uh, shine up the um, the boundary of the field would shine up and that is our um, guidance line over there this uh, this is just asking us to move forward so it can determine which uh, way we're facing that's, that's as simple as it is so we'll go back into our field now so we'll go back to the field and because we uh, uploaded all of them we've got all different boundaries here so oh let's choose our field sorry uh, where's doggy so that's not too far away there we go select that one 
I don't know if we've got a guidance line for that one yet, have we? No. So uh, from the computer we can add guidance lines to fields and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, it's just an easy way to uh, add your fields in without having, you know, it's wet at the moment. We can't go out there on the fields at the moment because it's uh, far too wet. But um, yeah, it's just a nice easy way to add fields and add uh, guidance lines without having to actually go and do it. You can do it all from home and then sync it to your screen here. But yeah, we can go to now, we can go to the other terminal in the other tractor, literally do the same, sync it up and it'll have the exact same information that this one's got here. They'll both be the exact same. There we go. It's, uh, it's just a nice little tool there to uh, add all the information without having to actually go and drive around everything. So this is our latest one, we'll be using this come the summertime. This is on the 6480. We will have one on the 6480, um, the hydraulic one we're actually going to put on our little drill tractor so you see plenty of that and then uh, the one that's on that tractor already is getting swapped on to uh, the 7718. So yeah, there we go. We'll have three of these kits. They work really nice. That's all there is to it really. Yeah, not many people, you know, people buy the kit and don't realize they can do uh, a lot of these functions from uh, from the uh, comfort of your own home or wherever you are. You can, uh, yeah, you can add all the information in and it's, um, and it's good. It's just a nice little add-on tool that you get with the advanced mode. So there we go. I'm gonna be adding all the fields in when I get a spare minute, I'll be adding all the fields in, getting all three systems linked up the same, and uh, everybody who uses the system then can, uh, yeah, can uh, they haven't got to worry about it. So, right there we go. Anyway, coming up soon, uh, we are going to start our installation of the hydraulic kit. So we will. Uh, the next video you see from ourselves and three of Hurricane is we are going to be installing. The, the F100H which is the uh, hydraulic mode so the difference is there you don't have a steering motor the terminal connects to a steer ready's tractor valve and uh, you just add, simply add a dome uh, the wiring goes to the tractor's valve that's already installed and it uh, it works with the tractor's pre-installed equipment so um, we'll see how that works uh, the one we're going we're actually going to convert a tractor to steer ready as well so it's going to be a little bit uh, a little bit more tricky for us we're pretty sure we know what we're doing so yeah that will be coming in a, a few weeks time uh, we'll get a little look at that and then throughout the summer we'll do some comparisons between the two see which one we prefer um, but uh, apart from that you know these systems just bring your older tractor system you know just brings your older equipment up to um, up to speed you know up up to date you know so and um, they're easy to use and uh, they work nice so it's as simple as that but uh, yeah there we go a little look at the farm management system I hope you like that one make sure you like and subscribe and uh, we will catch you on the next one cheers